An organization dedicated to helping young people recognize unhealthy relationships and prevent relationship violence is gaining momentum nationwide. The One Love Foundation was formed in tribute to Yardley Love, a University of Virginia student killed by her ex-boyfriend just three weeks before her graduation. Its mission is to end and prevent relationship violence by educating, empowering, and activating young people. So here with more, please welcome from One Love Foundation, the honorary event chairperson, Tracy Schneider. It's great to meet you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you too. I just told you before, excuse my cold hands. No, Warm you're heart all good. though. <laughs> Let's talk about the foundation's mission and why you brought it here. So the foundation's mission that I loved is it's a proactive approach. Right. Let's get in there early Let's and prevent Let's get this. in there early and teach how to be a healthy person in, in a relationship and to also notice what those signs are for unhealthy relationships. And the foundation started it on the college level and the colleges were saying you need to go to the high schools mm -hmm. and the high school kids are saying you need to go to the middle school. Right. You know, so the, the kids are driving the fact that this needs to be taught early on That's in so their life. Because they're telling us yes. when they begin to form these habits and form relationships. Absolutely. And who would think middle school, but yes. Yes, and now, I mean, they're even looking at potentially elementary school because that's where you learn how to be a good friend and how to mm -hmm. do how to do the right things in a relationship and also just friendships as well. That's a very good idea, mm -hmm. uh, considering the bullying problem and all the rest. Absolutely. Why not incorporate those skills? Absolutely. So as parents, of course, we want to model good behavior and we right. also want to identify these things. And one of the things about Yardley Love is that nobody really knew how to identify what they right. did see or maybe they didn't notice as many mm -hmm. things. And just, I remember that. It was such a horrible situation. Yeah, it was. Um, what should we as parents know about what we're seeing play out among young people? Well, and that's the great thing about what One Love is doing. They're a content-based, a film-based approach. So it's a visual to kids mm -hmm. and showing them what these behaviors look like. You know, how do they differentiate them? Right. How do they pick those out? Especially nowadays with social media, it's a whole new game um, and it's a whole new ball of wax. Well, what do I do if somebody, you know, if, if my, my significant other or my boyfriend, girlfriend demands to see my phone and who I've been texting and who I've been in contact yeah. with? And, you know, that's an unhealthy thing to do in a relationship and um, you know just those controlling behaviors right. and just all of those things that that you may not think of um, and even the person that that could potentially be doing that may you know, not be they thinking need of it to be taught that right. this isn't okay and, and sometimes this is why. with young women I think they almost think oh he loves me so much he's doing this as mm -hmm. opposed to okay wait a second yeah. let's think about where that's going to go and you guys have a, a training film that involves mm -hmm. teaching what escalation looks like like we're going to look at some of that, but tell me why this is so important. You know, escalation is so important because, and like I said, One Love is a film based, so they're giving you a visual, they're giving you an example. And this couple is representative of all of us. Um, what could potentially happen in our relationships and what to look out for um, and what to see and not only the couple themselves but their friends. Right. You know, what were their friends seeing in this situation? What were their families seeing in this situation? Um, and could it have been prevented? Um, so I think just having those visuals I think is a really, really important key in being proactive in teaching our young adults right. how to be a healthy, how to be in a healthy relationship and how to be a healthy person in a relationship. And how great to target before this gets out Absolutely. of Absolutely. You know, and I think our area does such a great job of supporting, you know, we have so many different organizations in, in this community that are really supportive um, in those situations. But the thing I loved about this and why the Seahawks and the Seahawk Women's Association wanted to bring it to our community, because One Love is a national organization. Um, and I fell in love with it at an NFL annual meeting um, when I saw the CEO speak. And I'm like, we have to have this in Seattle. We have to do it. So the Seahawks and the Seahawk Women's Association is really supporting this organization to get them here and have We're a presence. grateful for that. And yeah. by the way, Tracy's husband, John Schneider, is the GM of the Seahawks. So there's the connection there. <laughs> Tell him great draft, by the way. I will. Um, <laughs> we, we, everybody enjoyed that okay, very much. Thank you. So how can adults 
adults and other people get more involved and make sure that some of this material gets you know funneled through mm -hmm. our schools and youth groups? Absolutely. So for the past 18 months, um, this the SWA, the Seahawks Women's Association, and Seahawks have really been supporting One Love as far as you know getting them into our community and really supporting their their growth here. Um, and we've been supporting them in fundraising. We've been supporting them with connections in our school districts. They've already been in many school districts in our area and teaching this workshop to kids um, so they can in turn you know spread it spread the workshop within their schools um, but we're also doing an event next Friday um, it's called lip sync for love um, <laughs> it sounds so fun <laughs> who's gonna be there oh my gosh so many people are gonna be there we have celebrity um, talent that are gonna do the lip syncing um, we have celebrity judges that are gonna be judging it and we're hoping for 300 guests um, oh, awesome. And it's going to be at the Mopop um, at the stage. Super and, fun. Yeah, we have Super a lot fun. of great people that are going to be there. And another thing I noticed the group mentions is this is for kids of all genders and orientations. Absolutely. This doesn't just happen to, to one or the other or anything like that. And well, in and addition to that, we want, if, if it is a young man who's, who's um, involved in abusive behavior, we want that kid saved too. This is, this is about the whole environment. It's about teaching environment. everybody. And the stats are one in three women are in abusive relationships and one in four men. Wow. So it's not just a woman issue. Um, it is it is an issue for men as well. Um, you know, so this that's another great thing that this organization does is it crosses the genders and and really makes it applicable to everybody. That's huge. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is a really really me. good idea. And this the lip sync for love benefit. Now why didn't I lip sync instead of carpool karaoke the other night? That would have been <laughs> lip syncing would have been much more up my alley. It's uh, Friday, May 18th at the Museum of Pop Culture, MoPop, as you know, in Seattle, and we'll have that information up on our website for you. We'll be back after this break.